We have explored such a small part of the world around us, but what about the world inside us? You probably think you know it pretty well, but we bet we have a few things that will shock you. Find out which of your body parts get embarrassed when you do, and where the secret to a nice Riesling is hiding. Here are 10 things you didn't know about your body. Did you know that inside your body is a small red button with the word subscribe written on it? It serves a very important function, making sure you don't miss out on videos from the hub. Oh, wait, actually that's located on your screen. Better go ahead and press it. What our fingers say about us. We hate to be the ones to point it out, but humans have differently shaped fingers. Take a look at yours. It turns out the shape of your fingers can indicate certain personality traits. If the tips of your fingers are squarish in shape, you're a kind person. Preferring to keep your feelings hidden, you portray strength and independence that you may not always feel inside. You have a big heart and a life full of laughter, although you can be a bit insecure deep down. People with thin, oval-shaped fingertips are quite shy and have trouble meeting new people, but when you do befriend someone, you are loving and loyal to a fault. You enjoy setting goals in life and go after them fiercely. People with rounded fingertips tend to be very soft-hearted. You brush off anger and negativity and embrace your positive emotions. Unique Tongue Prints we rely on our tongues for many things, eating, speaking, and expressing our displeasure by exposing them, just to name a few. They even work while we're sleeping by helping to push saliva down our throat so they don't get dry. But did you know that your tongue has a totally unique print? We know that our fingerprints are specific to us, but it turns out our tongues are as well. Researchers have actually been creating a database of 3D tongue models for identification purposes. Even the bacteria in your mouth tells a story. Scientists have identified about 400 species of microbes. By testing the microbes in your mouth, Scientists are able to tell your ethnicity based off the type of bacteria present. Shedding skin. Your skin is your largest organ, but we are constantly losing it. We have different layers of skin, and the visible layer we are most familiar with is the epidermis. It's made up of keratin, which is the same substance that makes up your hair and nails. In other species, keratin forms hooves, claws, horns, and shells. New cells form at the lowest level of the epidermis. These bond with the next layer, the dermis. When the new cells reach the top, they eventually die and fall off, making room for new cells to rise. The entire process takes approximately one month. Your skin makes up about 16% of your body weight, which means you have about 1.6 trillion skin cells, 30 to 40,000 of which fall off every hour. This translates to about eight pounds of shed skin every year. And where there's shed skin, you'll find microscopic dust mites feeding off it. So feel free to hop in the shower when you're done with this video. The small intestine is longer. With a name like small intestine, you wouldn't guess that this part of your body is longer than you are, but although it's only an inch in diameter, your small intestine is 20 feet long. That's the same height as an adult giraffe. Your small intestine takes food from the stomach and processes it. The nutrients from the food are then absorbed into your bloodstream, which help with the digestive enzymes of the small intestine. Your large intestine is one-fourth the size of the small intestine. It's about five feet long, but three inches in diameter. The large intestine takes the leftover food particles from the small intestine, and escorts it out of your body. So why is the small intestine called small when it's so much bigger than the large intestine? Because scientists went by the size of the diameter, not the size overall. Clearly these were the same people who came up with the jumbo shrimp. Miles of blood vessels. Blood vessels are an important part of the circulatory system. They are what your blood uses to get where it needs to go within your body. But how large is the network of blood vessels in your body? The smallest blood vessels measure only five micrometers. In comparison, a strand of human hair is about 17 micrometers. If you were to remove all the blood vessels from an adult body and line them up, the line would be over 100,000 miles long. That's enough to wrap around the world twice. There are three types of blood vessels, each with their own special task. Arteries carry oxygenated blood away from the heart. Capillaries connect the arteries to the veins where they exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide. The veins then carry the blood back to the heart. Of course, this process works best if you leave all your blood vessels in your body where they belong. Sensitive touch. We are convinced we can tell the difference between 800 and 900 thread count when it comes to sheets. But just how sensitive is our sense of touch really? Researchers at the Royal Institute of Technology in Sweden decided to find out. They discovered that our fingers can identify textures whose ridges are mere nanometers in size. So if your finger was the size of Earth, you would be able to feel the difference between a house and a car. For people with normal sized fingers, this means we can feel bumps corresponding in size to a large molecule. When we simply touch our fingers against something, this is called a static touch. Using static touch, we can feel things no smaller than 0.22 millimeters, or twice the diameter of an eyelash. But by using dynamic touch, which means dragging your fingers across a surface, we can sense even smaller tactile differences. Our stomachs blush. Charles Darwin was among the first to study blushing and noted that it is something uniquely human. We've all felt our cheeks flush with embarrassment during an awkward moment. 
But beyond the telltale pink flush, our body is reacting in different ways beneath the surface. When we feel shame, our body releases the hormone adrenaline. This prepares the body for a stressful situation we assume is coming. The adrenaline makes your blood vessels dilate. This improves blood flow and oxygen delivery in case your body has to flee from the stressful situation. Of course, in such situations, we've merely encountered some embarrassment instead of being in peril. And running away won't make you forgetting your homework any less embarrassing. Trust me, I've tried. The increased blood flow causes the veins in your face to appear pink, but it also affects the veins in your stomach. So next time you let out an embarrassing burp in front of someone, just know that your stomach is as humiliated as the rest of you. Belly Button Ecosystem In previous videos, we've discussed the amazing discoveries made in the deepest oceans and the darkest corners of space. But it turns out you have your own special ecosystem deep inside your belly button. Seeking to explore the final biological frontier, a group of scientists from North Carolina University created a study they called the Belly Button Biodiversity, or BBB study. No word on how much of the grant money was spent on alliteration. Swabbing the navels of 60 participants have revealed 2,300 species of microorganisms. One common type is the same sort of bacteria that ferments sugars to make wine. Your belly button holds the potential to make your own tiny, disgusting brewery. Before you start frantically cleaning your belly button, you should know that most of the organisms inside it are harmless. The really amazing part of your belly biodome is that the vast majority of these microorganisms found were unique to certain belly buttons, meaning that the microscopic organisms living inside your belly button are almost as unique as you are. Seeing ultraviolet. We have always been told that our visual spectrum is limited, and ultraviolet light is beyond what our eyes can see. Ultraviolet light is a type of electromagnetic radiation found in x-rays, radio waves, and infrared radiation. But it turns out, our eyes have the ability to see ultraviolet all along. There's a lens in our eyes that prevents us from viewing this type of light. If the lens is removed, it's possible to see the UV light. People with aphakia, which is acquired through surgery, injury, or a congenital abnormality, are missing that particular lens. This gives them the ability to see in UV. It's said that the famous painter Claude Monet was able to see and paint in ultraviolet light. Think of all the beautiful things you're missing out on. All you have to do is remove a tiny bit from your eyeballs. Endurance running. We know that humans are far from the fastest runners in the animal kingdom. But if slow and steady really does win the race, then we might end up first at the finish line after all. Very few other animals have the same sort of stamina that humans do. By sweating, we can shed heat and maintain our body temperature, thus avoiding overheating. Being bipedal is a huge advantage as well. It helps keep our bodies balanced while we're running. We evolved this way in order to hunt our prey. Before we sat still long enough to invent weapons, humans would tire out their prey. Our bodies are harboring amazing things that most of us are unaware of. Well, amazing things and miles and miles of blood vessels and intestines. A lot going on in there. Maybe someday we'll launch a mission into the belly button biodome. Who knows what we'll find inside? Make sure to subscribe to the hub so you stay up to date. See you next time.